Welcome back to Franbo. We've just gained the ability to change the season, but before we start going crazy with that, let's continue to explore the rest of this place. Oh, a basket. It's empty. I can't just take it. It's not mine. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good. Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Mmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm... I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They're a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I'll do with the lemons. For the customers of the bar, you know? And we put some other stuff inside, too. So we can fly. Oh, wait a minute, you're telling me it's because of the lemonade that they drink? That they're able to fly in the boats? <laughs> well, in that case, uh, I think I need some of this lemonade. Fly? Wow, I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that's why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Hmm. Hmm. I'm really tempted to start changing seasons right now. Because if I change the seasons, maybe the... Okay, we're just going to do it. Let's see if the lemons will pop up. Aha! Sir, can I take one of your lemons? I'm sorry, lovely. The lemon resources are quite limited. I can't let you take them. I take all the lemons the basket can carry. That means all the lemons from the tree. Hmm. Goodbye. Ooh, can I have the ladder? Huh. I don't have any need to climb that ladder. Oh, but you could take it. It's an adventure game. Aren't you going to need it? Ah, well. Oh, wait. Does that mean I restart it when I go back? Huh. I'm not just changing the seasons. I'm also kind of like traveling through time, I guess. Okay, this is weird. This is really weird. Hmm. I feel like I'm supposed to do something to, like, intercept him and get one of the lemons or something. Um. Hold on. Let's mess around with this for a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe now I can take the basket, right? Seems to be in good shape. That's good. Mm hmm. Because if it weren't, it wouldn't carry stuff, of course. Are you implying that I could maybe cut a hole in the bottom of the basket in this season so that maybe the lemons will fall out in a different season? Kitty, I'm going to do something, so act natural. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I love them looking around, just paranoid that somebody's going to come across, come across their nefarious deeds. Oh, the basket won't carry all the lemons now. This game is brilliant. The way it suggested that. Look at the subtle, subtle hint of looking at the basket. And just the way it said that it's in good shape. So it should, you know, be able to carry all the lemons. That little hint just makes me think in the realm of, oh, maybe if the basket wasn't in good shape, it wouldn't be able to carry all the lemons. Which is what gave me the idea to use the knife. Like, that's brilliant writing. That's so clever. It's enough to push me kind of in the in the realm of thinking about the problem in the right way, but it doesn't give me the solution. I still have to think of the solution myself. That is good puzzle design. Just 
let him walk away, and I'm sure a couple might fall on the ground. Oh. Oh, an accidentally dropped lemon. I think I'll keep it. A shiny, juicy lemon. A sleepy tree. Good night. Oh, this flower looks like it's waiting to bloom. Is it? Hey there. Oh, the flower's beautiful. It's so different from the rest. Ouch, it has thorns. Well, that's brave. I should also have thorns to harm the evil monster. Hmm. Can I cut it? The red flower. It's like warm love. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but there you go. And I said I wouldn't go crazy with the time with the season changing before I've explored everything. So much for that. Huh. You must say something important. Like the party is about to start, or something. Or maybe the prices of the drinks you can buy. Oh, I wonder what this is. It looks like a tropical party place. Yeah, this must be the bar. Closed until the... Fall, was it? Yeah, I believe it was the fall. And this must be up to the mountain, right? It shows a mountain. It must be Mountain Cotrim. And this place is supposed to only exist in the winter, right? Or at least, like, the Wizard's Palace only exists in the winter, or something like that? Hmm... I feel like there should be an entrance here or something. It seems suspicious. It's nothing here but trees and flowers. Yeah, I've got a feeling in the winter there might be a, an entrance there. Oh, that paper swirl is huge! Yeah, there's definitely no wizard up here. What is that? Um. Oh, Kitty, did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear. I saw it. What was it? Huh, I... I think it's the shadows. Oh, dear. I don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, Kitty. They were all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. We will go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise? That whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side. Of course, my dear. I promise. Great. Uh, now, we have to keep on going. This mountain top is very high, because it's the top. I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. I guess it would sound very loud, like an earthquake. Shall I switch the seasons? Mm, no. Not just yet. Let's go over here to the right first. Whoa. The masks. The masks. Hold on. Let's read this again. So, the, the shield. Right, the Velocus. They're made of photons and sound waves. Hence why I guess they're all bright and they also make noise, as I'm hearing. Uh, and when they reach the age blah blah blah, they're crowned with the shield. So I guess they're doing a crowning or something. Now wasn't there something about how the Velocus were made or something? How they were like, turned into lights or something? I thought there was something about that. Is this it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the water. It's the water that turns them into these creatures. Yeah, they turn into the Velocus. The Kamalas turn into the Velocus. They turn into these things, I think. Beings of photons and sound waves. 
Looks like this one's about to put on the shield. And what is this thing? Strange, like, clockwork gear sort of mechanism. Oh, wow, what are you... You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material, we are Velakis. Oh, you're very shiny, and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature, one of the young Velakis will receive the shield. <laughs> I'm not going to try to read that. <laughs> Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir, or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You're full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things. And it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents. And why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Hmm. But... Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Oh. Yes, Kitty. You're right. Ooh, so many things to pull. Levers. Well, there's four levers, and I'm guessing each one controls one of the hands of this thing. Whoa, what a huge Velakis. It's not real, though. I wonder what they use it for. It has four arms. Maybe the Great Velakis has four arms. Hmm. Well, I can't think of anything that I want to do with it, but let's just start messing around. This moves the arms of the Velakis. Incredible. Hmm. So just two positions for each arm, huh? Does that arrow mean something? That little, like, golden arrow right there? Does that need to face a certain direction? Depending on the combination, it faces a different way. Does it need to face towards me? Uh, I don't really see why, though. I probably shouldn't mess with this until I know, like, what I'm trying to accomplish. But I can't help but want to just pull everything. Let's see if uh, maybe it looks different in a different season. No, doesn't seem like it. Well, if I wanted it to face a certain direction, I could just keep messing with the arms, right? If I just keep pressing the same one again and again, it shifts. Eventually, it should end up where I want it to go, but again, I don't know where I want it to go. Uh, let's just leave this for now. Oh, hello. Hello. 
Are you going back over here? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Is it just infinitely going to walk over there? Weird. Anyway, let's let's start messing with the seasons properly now. Actually, no, let's go back down. And let's see what this place looks like in the different seasons. Winter should be the most important one. Aha, I knew it. But hold on, what's up here? Okay, that totally looks like a face. Those are two eyes, and that's a mouth. Do you speaketh? Mountaineth? This mountaintop is very high. Yep. Same as before. Hmm. Doesn't seem to speak in any season, but maybe it will in the future. Hello, wizard. Hello, Mr. Clothes Hanger. You have no clothes on you. I think everybody in the Thirsta likes to go around naked. I'm naked too, but it's okay. I'm not freezing. Two big empty bottles. That's what they are. I don't understand, but I recognize some of the symbols. Spicy stuff. <laughs> My stomach always gets a lot of gas when I eat spicy stuff. <laughs> the Great Wizard is making something here. I wonder what. Maybe it's just soup. <laughs> I don't think so. That's some sort of distilling going on. The way that's dripping out. That would be a lot of pain to go through just to make soup. Smells lovely. Like blueberries. Mmm. I wonder what's in those bottles. It can be chocolate sauce or milk. This hair looks exactly like the flying insect's hair. I guess they got very stuck, so they had to cut it. I don't understand, but I'm in another reality. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good reason not to understand. Yeah. I see a human skull. Hello. I'm not the only human here. Ah, coal. I used to draw stuff in the driveway with coal also used to burn it. Stuff to do magic with, I guess. That is not being used. I think I'm gonna have to do some, like, distilling myself, I feel like. Which should be pretty cool. Alright, let's talk to you. Oh, are you the great wizard, sir? Uh, are you? Because if you are, then we need to talk. Excuse me, can you talk? You have too many questions. That's good. Oh, good. Yes, my name is Fran, and I'm a human. I need your help. A human? You don't look like one. Mm-hmm. I need you to lend me the stones to open the door to my world. Uh, the stones are missing, and I... I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. So they can't be found. Oh, I see. But maybe I can help you find them. I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. <laughs> That's why there's a rabbit here in a hat. That's what you're doing? All this distilling and stuff is just to try to find out how someone can do the magic trick of pulling a rabbit out of a hat? How? This is the greatest question of them all. Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I wonder again, how? 
Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the Great Wizard? Uh, what? I've, I've been here the whole time, Did, huh? That means me, just so you know. Uh, oh. Uh, good day, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones. Uh, it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for those. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. You know, the Black Shadows, the Kamalos, they try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. The king told me that the stones would open door to go home. Hmm. The stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Oh, of course, you... You adventure game... Four riddles that will unlock my memory. <laughs> that is so adventure game. Uh... Only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find five items. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Then, the only one who can bring them back is me. Oh, that was a lot of information, sir. Let me show you. This is the Star of Athirsta. Something something, the greatest guide of the sky. Actually, I can probably pronounce it. It's probably Amka Be. The greatest caretaker of this land. Oh, wow. That sounds great. I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place the items on the Star of Athirsta, on their respective symbol. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. Oh, thank you very much, Sir Wizard. Oh, Sir Wizard? The king told me that you could make me human again. Did he? Hmm. I think that's true. I barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember? But I can't go home like a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you a human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. Just try to figure out the riddles and I, I guess everything will be fine. Sir, do I need something special to become a human? Hmm. I think the smell is very important, if I remember correctly. So, bring me your clothes, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, sir. I'll bring my I'll bring you my clothes later. Bye. Hmm, how do I get back to my clothes? I think I'll need to fly in one of those boats, right? What a lovely rabbit. I wonder if the wizard sewed it. He did a good job. A magician's hat. I wonder whose hat it is. I've seen that skeleton in a top hat before. Maybe it's his. Maybe that skeleton is a magician. I don't really understand this experiment. It smells like cooked milk. Oh, it's literally just milk. Just boiling milk. Huh. I'm not sure how that's supposed to help solve the problem of the top hat and the rabbit. An abacus, made to solve mathematical stuff. What if you want to count to more than 100? I guess you have to own more than one abacus. Okay, let's take a look at the riddle, because I have a feeling the lemon and the flower might actually be two, me, uh, might actually be two parts of it. Hmm, 
So I have to answer the riddles and place my answers on the right symbol of the star. Mm -hmm. I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Mm. Don't think that applies to the lemon or the, the flower. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. Okay, that's got to be the lemon, right? Oh yeah, that's a lemon. I can even see Fran's hands as she bends down to look at the star. That's so cool. Okay, so which one is that? That's the one with one dot. So that's this one. There we go. There goes the lemon. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Hmm. I'm trying to think if that relates to the flower. In this one, light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. Hmm? That's just, uh... It's gotta be a feather, right? It's gotta be a feather. Yeah. Well, I can't think of how any of the others apply to the flower. Or anything else in my inventory, so... Hmm. Guess I'll just leave it there. Now that I've found one item, that should be enough to turn me back into a human, as long as I find my clothes. So... Let's go see if I can actually get one of those drinks and then be able to fly. So then maybe I can go get my clothes. Oops, this is not where I meant to go. Or, wait. No, this is where I meant to go, right? Just different season? Yeah. I thought it was only open in the fall, but it looks like it's maybe open in the summer. Maybe it's the summer and fall. Hello, you are... big and beetly. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Oh, ticket. Uh, hello, sir. I don't have a ticket. How can I get one? What? All the thirsty citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? Oh, I'm not a citizen, sir. Maybe that's why. Not a citizen? That's new. Too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady. I can't let you in. Alright, sir. I understand. But what can I do, then? I really would like to go inside. I don't know. This never happened before. Hmm... I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you. Bye. My own way to get inside. Are you saying I need to break in? Are we going to do some B and E? Hmm. I'm down. Do I need a ticket even during the fall? Hello again. Did you find your special ticket yet? The show is about to begin. Uh, I have an exterminator car. Is this a ticket? The text on it can give us trouble. What? It, it just it's, it's just an exterminator's card. It's not going to offend a gigantic insect. Maybe I can make my own ticket. Let's combine the crayon with this. I could draw a flying boat or paper swirls. Nah, maybe later. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Okay, well, I think the only time I could get in would be right here, during the spring. Because this is the only time when there isn't a guard, and this place still exists. But I'd need to, like, get through the boards. Looks like a tropical party place. Mm hmm I don't have anything that could possibly break the boards. Hmm. I kind of want another lemon. Oh, hey, it's you again. Yeah, I want another lemon. 
Just for funsies. Oh, You can't get another lemon. Whoa! That's a thing from on top of the mount- <gasps> Oh no! Palantros! Palantros? Sir? Wait, don't go! Oh, no, he looked really bad, kitty. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. God, what did happen? I mean, as long as he can get to his pool of healing water, he'll be okay. Okay, well this isn't for another part of the riddle. Palantros's feather. Okay, let's just cycle through all the seasons in every place, I guess, and just see if anything major changes. Hmm, covered in snow and ice. I can't sail with this one. Oh, look, kitty. Get in the boat. We're going for a ride. I guess we don't need to be able to fly. Let's go. Oh, this is fun. Woohoo! Yeah, I can actually move around in the boat. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, wow. The island's very tiny. It is. What if I switch the season to winter while I'm in the boat? Isn't that gonna, f like, break the boat? Because the water will be frozen. Let's skip winter for now. No, nothing else really changes, just more flowers. Okay, let's try winter, I'm really curious. Oh, it just leaves me on top of it, okay. Okay, yeah, this is back where my clothes were. Can I get off the boat? There we go. Oh, Fran, this is where we were before. I fixed the bridge to get your purse. Wow, kitty, you're very clever. I hope we find my things. Oh, there they are. Kitty, I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills are not here. Maybe you lost them. Well, they weren't doing me any good anyways. Maybe they'll appear someday. Let's keep going now. Yes, I found you, dear clothes. Come to your one and only wear. <laughs> Can I put them on right now? Nah, I can't. I suppose they wouldn't fit. Oh, that must be the castle. It looks like a pineapple from here. I wonder if it tastes like one, too. <laughs> oh, friend. Oh, and I'm too far away to change the seasons now. That's right. It's got a limited range. I forgot about that. Back on, Mr. Midnight. Maybe I can take this fishing pole. Ah, a fishing rod. It seems to be broken. Hmm. It doesn't have a hook, and the fishing line is too short. Oh, I don't have a hook or any fishing line, so I don't think I can fix it right now. Hmm. Did they just do the small little detail that I think they did? Remember how in one of the seasons there was a guy out there 
There's a person out there fishing. And now that's no longer the case. Is that because I took the fishing rod so that they can't fish anymore? That's so cool. Okay, well, I guess the next thing to do right now is probably just go try to uh, see if I can get myself into my human form. Let's also go ahead and put the next part of the riddle on there. The feather. Uh, light and hollow, so that's one with three dots. So that one. Can you explain? No, no, no. Don't explain the riddles. We're good on the riddles. I guess you use the clothes on them. Oh, smelly clothes. I can't make you human yet. We have to find the first stone. Oh. Oh, I thought I just needed one part of the pentagram. Hmm. Okay. I can't use the hair as a filament, can I, for the fishing pole? Hair looks exactly like the flying insect's hair. Okay, next thing to do. Um, hmm. <laughs> Let's go see what changing the seasons does in some other places. Whoa. Come closer, Fran. I have the one thing you desire. I have what you are looking for. Mommy? Is that you, Mommy? My beloved daughter, come closer. Let me feel you. Mommy, I'm scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. You have to come closer, Fran. I want to kiss you. But you can't be my mother. She's dead. You have to come closer, now. If you don't, the big monster will come and get you. No, you're not my mommy. Leave me alone. My darling, the big monster will come and get you. He will come and get you. He will come and get you. Mommy, you're scaring me. Mommy, stop it, please. Ugh. Did you see that too, Mr. Midnight? I guess not. I don't know. Well, if I get the fishing pole fixed, I think I can get some fish from here. And this must be... Yeah, I think you need to fish for this one. I think that's what this riddle is talking about. Cold-blooded. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Yeah, that's got to be talking about a fish. That's a map. Oh, you do have a bunch of thread. Uh, maybe I can buy some thread for the fishing pole. Still got some money left. Mm, it's a good day for good fabric and thread. I'm at your service. Good. Thread and cloth to make stuff. And buttons. Okay, so can I can I buy some? Not sure what to do with this. Um I want the thread. Hello, miss. I'm wondering if you have some thread for fishing line. Do you? Fishing line? Thread? Yes, yes, I have some. Do you want it? <laughs> yes, please. How much is it? Well, quite a lot. Is that good? Oh, I, I meant price-wise, miss. I only need enough for fishing line. 
Oh, I forgot to think about it, Bryce. Y you see, I've never sold anything before. But you know what? You can have it. I hope it makes you happy. Never sold anything before? Uh, oh, well, thank you, miss. I hope you settle some prices and sell something soon. Bye. Maybe the people here don't need to sell things to make a living? It seems kind of like a utopia. Maybe, uh, maybe it's just no big deal. Or maybe they just opened up shop. Alright, there's that. Looks fantastic. Now I just need a hook. Um, oh! A hook is made out of metal. And who works with metal? You, good sir. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Uh... Oh, I, I probably need to use the fishing rod on him. Let's do that. Sir, look. I found a fishing rod. But it's broken. Can you help me? Let me see. Uh, something is missing. Have you seen the hook that goes with this rod? Huh? You just said the exact same thing someone else did back in the hospital. Wait. He did? I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. Hmm. Really? Who? What hospital? The Oswald Asylum, sir. The nurse. When I broke the curtain. Oh. Oh, I have no idea of what you're talking about. You're quite strange. Well, let's forget about it. Can you please make me a hook for the fishing rod? Yes, let's do it. If you give me one coin, I can give you half a hook. If you give me two coins, you, you'll get an entire working hook. I don't need half a hook. I need the whole thing. The whole thing will cost you three coins. One coin for half a hook, and two for the working one. Deal? Oh, sir, you are complicated. I'll bring your coin soon. Bye. <laughs> what good is half a hook? Alright, we need a couple more coins. Hello, my snail friend. Let's play. Hmm, I think I've already kind of tied. Yep. Oh, wait, I just lost. <gasps> what does that do? I guess nothing. Oh, now that they won, they get the first turn. Well, that sucks. Is it possible to ever win again now? <laughs> oh, now it's my turn. Okay. Oh, wow, you just handed me that one. Thanks. Or wait, did they... Wait, huh? Did they just win? I thought I won. No, I, I guess I won. I got confused. Just gotta win one more time. Oh. Well, I just handed them that one. Oh, 
I just panned that, that one too. Although to be fair, it doesn't really matter. I don't lose anything. There's nothing at stake but my time. I lose. I'm just, I'm totally zoning out for this, because, like, I don't care. This isn't an interesting game. Mentally, I'm just like, Ugh, press buttons until win. I lose again. I'm really not thinking hard about this at all. Oh, now they win again. Or not. There we go. Wait a minute. Maybe I didn't win that one time. Hold on. How many coins do I have? Two gold. What? I didn't win that one time. Oh. All right. I need one more. Oh, they win. Thank God, three coins. <laughs> Get me out of here. Three coins, right? Yep, okay. Here you go, sir. Here are your three coins, sir. Wonderful, thank you. And here's your hook. I hope it works fine. Thank you, sir. It's perfect. I have to go now. Bye. I did it! This is grand! I'll call you the Fish X... Wait, what did I say? The Fish X... Something? I didn't see the rest of that. Let's get ourselves a fish. <laughs> and of course, Mr. Midnight really wants it too. Uh, cats and fish. Oh, I got a fish! I'm very sorry. Yeah, sorry, little... Little... Little fishy. I need you, though. Alright, well, we've got one more piece for the pentagram. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon 